Hello and thank you for watching. This is STSC back again with LEGO Transformers Rise of the Beasts Transit. When we found out that Transit was cut from Rise of the Beasts, I figured I may still build him, but that I would hold off until I'd built more of the actual characters that were in the film. I know a lot of people want me to finish off the Terracons, but then Transit scene actually got released recently, and I decided it was time to build him. So apologies to anyone that's eagerly awaiting the next two Terracons, but for now, it's transit time. Here we have transit in his vehicle mode, which I did try to get fairly close to the on-screen prop vehicle, but I didn't worry too much about accuracy. I figured that since he wasn't even in the movie, that it didn't matter as much if he looked exactly like he did on screen, so I didn't sweat too much about capturing every little detail of the vehicle mode. One detail that's definitely missing is the ads on the side of the bus, though honestly I don't know how you would expect anyone to capture that in LEGO without making some kind of custom print or sticker, which I'm not about to do for transit. Turning him around to look at the back of the bus, I'm also pretty sure the tail lights here aren't particularly accurate. I don't think the bus has tail lights like this, but I added them in to make the robot mode look closer to the concept art. Something funny about Transit is that because of how he transforms, the bus is kind of half empty. This whole back section is pretty much hollow, and you could probably store some weapons in there, but I didn't build any weapons for him. For a size comparison, here we have a minifigure. And here we have Optimus Prime. You don't see a lot of bus transformers, other than Quick Stop, of course. But while it is a pretty mundane looking vehicle mode, it really is just a brick with wheels, it allows for a really interesting transformation. So without further ado, let's transform him. And here we have Transit in his robot mode. Like I mentioned earlier, I didn't prioritize accuracy as heavily as I usually would because, well, he's not actually in the movie. I took some creative liberties, and you'll definitely notice them as I go through the figure. Probably the most notable one is that I really exaggerated his shoulder pads. He has these really big, rounded-looking shoulder pads that, as far as I can tell, come from the roof above the windshield, and I've really exaggerated them here for this design. Taking a closer look, I did try to get the torso pretty accurate. I got the kind of sharp metal abdomen he has, and of course the headlights on his chest. The head is kind of a bit lackluster. It was really tricky to try and come up with something that would emulate his very distinct head shape at this scale, and I ended up settling for this. I don't think it's perfect, but I'm also not really sure what would have looked better, and would have fit in the bus mode. 
I've already mentioned that I really exaggerated his shoulder pads here, which I think looks pretty cool, but again, isn't super accurate. But for the rest of the arms, there's not really much defining them on the model. As far as I could tell, there's not really a discernible car part they're supposed to come from. So here they just form the roof of the bus. And I tried to add in some blue because he definitely does have blue on his arms, but obviously there's no blue on the roof of the bus. So it had to hide in bus mode. The legs were the first part of transit that I designed, and I really enjoy how they transform, having both of the wheels come together to be on either side of his knee. And I also really like how the foot forms from what is actually just the blue stripe from the side of the bus. I also like that I got the tail lights here on his thighs. The concept art does show lights there, but like I mentioned in bus mode, I don't think the bus actually has these kinds of lights, but I prioritized robot mode. From what we see in the deleted scene, Transit does have some panels from the bus mode hanging off his back. I didn't try too hard to emulate the specific look that he has in the scene, but I did add these panels back here to try and emulate that. The concept art definitely had sort of a skirt look going on, but unfortunately I wasn't able to mount the panels that low, and instead they're on the shoulder. Though in the scene I'm pretty sure he does have some panels up here though. For a size comparison, here we have a minifigure. And here we have him with Optimus, who I think he scales pretty nicely with. For articulation, Transit's head can look left and right, as well as up a little bit and down. At the shoulders, there is an outward joint here, which does look a little bit awkward because of just how it's mounted. But it does allow the arm to get some upward movement, as well as a forward swivel. And a little bit of back, though of course there is... The big panel of bus roof here, which does kind of get in the way. Then he has a ball joint at the elbow, which is kind of mounted awkwardly. So you do kind of have to bend like this, like a kind of a gorilla arm syndrome. Then the wrist can bend like this. At the waist, he has a swivel, which has a fair bit of range. And by using the transformation joints, there can kind of be a crunch. At the hips, he has a universal joint, which can go in and out, as well as forward and backwards. He has a 90 degree bend at the knee, but unfortunately, there's no thigh swivel. However, there is a swivel under the knee, which can help make his poses look a little bit more dynamic. Then at the feet, he has a ankle tilt, which kind of plays with the tolerances of the transformation. But if you bend it too far, it's really easy to just pop the foot off. While keeping up with the leaks and rumors around Rise of the Beast, information on Transit was kind of a roller coaster. He went from a rumored character I honestly didn't think was real to having his art leaked and then getting completely canned from the movie. Honestly, I think it's a bit of a shame to have his design go to waste, so I knew I had to build my own. Personally, I think I did the design justice. But that's all I have to say about it for now, so I'll see you next time.